Dark powers caused destruction of the world and all that was built upon it. Only the void was left and the void was dark, lonely and silent. In the void floated the legends and the demigods, each kept safe by the gods that had chosen them. And the gods said to each other, Let us put to rest our disagreements and let us create a new world to dwell upon. Let us make the world big and rich so our chosen can flourish and grow. So the gods awakened the demigods and told them, Make us a world, make it big and rich. Make it a place where you can choose to flourish and grow. And the gods gave the demigods great powers of creation and creativeness. The demigod then set forth and created an even larger and even better world than the one there were before. But the dark powers that lurked in the void saw this and said unto themselves, This world shall not be perfect. Evil things shall lurk in the darkness, the dead shall rise at night, and these chosen shall fear our powers of the dark. And thus it was that the Iron Knights found themselves awakened in a new world, with nothing but the sand under their feet and cloth they were wearing. So Iron set forth to find a new realm to build, an even larger and even better Iron Horn, with an even larger and even more beautiful temple to the goddesses. Iron saw new knights join their proud ranks, and peace was made with the nation of P.O.D. But in the deep of the void lurked dark powers, and soon the world could come to an end, and much as before, the world was destroyed. Dark powers caused the destruction of the world and all that was built upon it. Left was the void, and the void was dark, lonely and silent. In the void floated the legends and the demigods, each keep safe by the gods that had chosen them. And yet again the gods said unto each other, Let us put to rest our disagreement, and let us create a new world for our chosen. So the gods awakened yet again the demigods, and told them, Make us a world. The demigods then set forth yet again, and created an even larger, an even better world than the one before. Yet again Iron found himself awakened unto a new world, and once again Iron built a new fortress, a new temple, and great and glorious was the buildings. To the ranks of the legendary knights of Iron was added Royal Bode whose fate in iron to this day remains unshaken, and whose skills in building are as great as any, and whose names shine as bright in the world as that of the Iron Knights. Iron also found new friends in the Northern Alliance, and chose to ally with some of the legends there. But dark power still lurked in the void, just watching the chosen of the world until they once again could rise and destroy the world.